Rhea Ripley's ex sends five-word message to Mamie after WVU WV superstar Rhea Ripley recently received an interesting message on social media from a popular RRV name after the latest edition of the Red Brand. The name in question is backstage interviewer Kathy Kelly. Ripley is currently one of the biggest names in world wrestling entertainment. She took the pro wrestling world by storm after becoming the women's world champion and defeating multiple top names to retain her title. Unfortunately, after WrestleMania XL, Mamie suffered an injury and had to vacate her championship. However, the Eradicator recently returned to WWE television. On an episode of Monday Night RAW, Rhea challenged current women's world champion Liv Morgan for a title match at the SummerSlam 2024 Premium Live event. Ripley recently took to Instagram to post backstage photos from this week's edition of the Red Brand, seemingly calling herself the real villain. This post caught her ex Kathy Kelly's attention, and she sent a five-word message. The duo have been in a hilarious online relationship, where Kelly uploaded a video writing that Ripley said yes to her. The two are still seen flirting with each other on social media. In her comment, Kelly referred to singer Shawn Mendes' song Treat You Better, seemingly saying that she would treat Ripley better than her on-screen love interest Dominic Mysterio. Siri, play Treat You Better. Kathy Kelly commented, Check out a screenshot of Kelly's comment on Rhea's Instagram post below. Fans would be patiently waiting to see whether Mammy defeats Liv Morgan at the biggest party of the summer and reclaims the Women's World Championship. However, Liv Morgan is unhinged in fiery WV Raw vignette. Since injuring Rhea Ripley in a backstage attack in the spring, Liv Morgan has spent the summer trying to tear Ripley's world apart, from winning the Women's World Championship that Ripley was forced to vacate to infiltrating Ripley's stable, The Judgment Day, and attempting to seduce Ripley's paramour Dominic Mysterio. While some aspects have works, her seduction of Mysterio didn't, as Dirty Dom officially rejected Morgan last week on Raw, telling her that he hated her instead of saying, I love you. This week, Morgan responded to the news calmly and rationally, minus the calm and rational part. In a segment that aired on Raw last night, Morgan could be seen standing over a barrel of fire, tossing a photo of her and Mysterio and two t-shirts of Mysterio and ripely into the barrel. Morgan, her mascara smeared from crying, said she was heartbroken by Mysterio's rejection, admitting she had put him on a pedestal and treated him like the man she thought he was, only to learn that he was Rhea Ripley's B asterisk 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 H instead, after declaring that she wished she could take back every tear that she wasted on Mysterio, Morgan resolved to make the lives of both Mysterio and Ripley a living hell. As such, the Women's World Champion declared that the Liv Morgan Revenge Tour would be completed at SummerSlam, saying she'd defeat Ripley and leave Mysterio with whatever was left of his precious little mummy. She closed her fiery rant by saying the match would end with her arm raised as she heard three words, albeit different ones than she had previously been hoping for, Women's World Champion. However, the WWE Hall of Famer Bully Ray recently claimed that the Triple H-led promotion made a huge mistake with the Wyatt Six on the latest edition of Monday Night R.I.W. The fearsome faction will make its in-ring debut on next week's episode of The Red Brand. On this week's Varavu, Otis and Akira Tazawa locked horns with Brutus and Julius Creed with Chad Gable in the Creed Brothers' corner. Following the match, Gable, Brutus, and Julius assaulted the Alpha Academy members, However, the Wyatt Six showed up to take out Master Gable and the Creed Brothers. The Fearsome Stables members even unmasked themselves on WV television. Later, in a backstage segment, Chad Gable and the Creed Brothers asked Raja General Manager Adam Pierce for a match against the Wyatt Six. Uncle Howdy's teammates Eric Rowan, Dexter Loomis, and Joe Gacy are now set to square off against Gable, Brutus, and Julius on next week's edition of The Red Brand. During a recent edition of the Busted Open Radio, the DDV Hall of Famer Bully Ray stated that he was not a fan of seeing the sinister faction regularly making an entrance through Gorilla. Ray mentioned how the fearsome stable made their electrifying debut, taking out several names backstage, and claimed the Triple H-led promotion hadn't maintained the mystery behind the faction since then. I'd like a little bit of mystery when it comes to the Wyatt Six. That's why I don't want to see them come through Gorilla. That's why I don't want to know that they're contracted talent because you're telling me they are very much like everybody else. This was a group who basically tried to kill people on their debut. 
What was everybody saying about what it looked like happened to Chad Gable at the gorilla position the night that the Wyatts debuted? People were saying, it looked like a gunshot to the head. That's pretty drastic, he said. During the latest edition of Sportskeeda Wrestling's Legion of Varavu, former WWE Raider Vince Russo said that he was not a fan of the Wyatt Six members unmasking and hitting normal wrestling moves on Chad Gable and the Creed Brothers this past Monday. Bro, after a three-month buildup, here's what happened. After a three-month buildup, they take their mask off, and there was no attack. They hit the Creed Brothers with wrestling moves. There was no attack. There was no torture. There were no weapons. Never in my wildest dream would I have believed they could have killed this this quickly," he said. Hi lovely viewers, welcome to my channel. And Lima, hope your day is so well. If you like the video, and subscribe the channel.